Only a lucky 20% of the US population can speak more than one language and they have a physically different brain structure. I say that because being bilingual is like taking your brain to the gym regularly. We can physically recognize these changes using functional MRI imaging and not only that, the earlier that the second language was acquired, the more different the brain structure is. If bilingual people develop dementia, it's on average four and a half years later, and particularly between the ages of 13 and 30, have enhanced learning in memory and executive functions like planning ahead, hitting goals, or following multi-stage instructions without getting distracted, as shown by Ballerini and colleagues. Some of these advantages persist until 65, but in non-dementia groups tend to dissipate after that. There's good news for you monolinguals though, and it's called neuroplasticity. The idea that your brain is constantly rewiring and making new connections, so especially if you're younger, there's still time to learn a new language and make those brain